This is one of my all-time favorite books and probably my favorite novel ever, The Movie Goer by Walker Percy. This won the uh, National Book Award for Fiction in 1962. It was Walker Percy's first novel. And uh, I'm not going to try to tell anything about the story, but let me just tell you because it's too subtle and too interesting. But let me tell you a little bit about Walker Percy. He came from an illustrious Southern family that was on the right side of issues of race and justice. His uncle was famous for facing down the Klan in some, you know, really hairy moment back in the day. And uh, just let me tell you a little bit about my history with this book, The Movie Goer. I lived in New Orleans when I was in my late 20s and I had a friend who gave me this book then and said, you're so into New Orleans, you got to read this. It's just steeped in New Orleans. So I read it and it went just completely over my head. I said, what? This, the movie goer? I just didn't get it at all. And then about 10 years later, I was in New York, you know, I'm from New York and having dinner with my, my friend and mentor, David Ledick, uh, who I respect, you know, beyond many, 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 many people. And I asked him, well, David, what's your favorite book? And he said, the movie goer. I said, the movie goer? I said, I read the movie. Goer. So I read it again and this time I got it. And I've read it probably another 10 times since then. It's just a wonderful, wry, sly, funny, deep stuff. Um, a couple of other things about Walker Percy. He um, became a doctor. And, but as soon as he got his medical degree, he got tuberculosis. And he had to go for like, I don't know, two or three or four years where he was in a sanitarium, basically in bed. And what he did was he read. He read and he thought, and the family is Catholic, and he started writing articles for these Catholic journals. And what you get out of this, a book like this, is just the tip of the iceberg where the top surface, the book, is, seems really easy, but it's informed by such depth because he thought so deeply about so, many, so much stuff. And here's a, a little personal story. Um, at one point, when I was like living in my van and on the road, I had a dream about Walker Percy. And in the dream, I read a paragraph that he had written, not a real paragraph, but like a dream paragraph. And when I woke up, I remembered it and I wrote it down. And I wrote him a letter because I knew this was back in the days of letters. I knew that he lived in Covington, which is just across Lake Pontchartrain from New Orleans. And I told him and I, and I sent the thing that he supposedly wrote. And he wrote me back and, um, and he said, come on by anytime, come see me. We'll have a, you know, a drink or whatever, whatever. And um, I'm sad to say I was on the road. I never got back to New Orleans and Walker Percy died in 1990. So I never got to, got to, take, him up, got to take him up on that offer. But what a great guy to do that to just some strange kid that wrote him out of the blue. So anyway, one of my all-time favorite books, Great Fiction, The Movie Goer by Walker Percy.